What's up, hey, this is Admin from Plex Guide. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a different type of video. Um, basically, this is to, to kind of help new people. Um, <laughs> you, can, you can argue it's myself too, because I have to kind of refresh myself. Um, basically, this is a little bit about uh, SSH. Um, I'm not a super pro expert at it, but just to give you some insight into what it is and, and, and what it does for you, how you get into the system, um, how you enable it. Uh, so for example, like what, what you see in front of you is a VM. Um, it's actually running actual Ubuntu. Um, the question is you may have is like, hey, how do I, how do I use PuTTY um, and, and get into this, into this machine that's right here? Because you might be on the laptop downstairs and you don't feel like running a VM, <laughs> closing it out and then everything shuts down. Um, sometimes you also have a, a GUI uh, install of some type with some servers. Um, and suddenly you're trying to figure out how you can actually SSH into the machine. So most of them uh, configure it for you, but um, this is just to give you a little bit of insight here. So right now, what you see in front of you is like I said, we're using Ubuntu. So if you go to Ubuntu, the way you always access, if you hear PuTTY terminal, SSH access, there's, and there's a few different other programs out there, which I really haven't used. It, it's just this. So you bring this up and Poof, that's pretty much it. And usually most people who come on Ubuntu is like, wow, I got this wonderful GUI interface. Why would I ever want to use this? Well, one for Plex Guide requires it. So what we try to do is we try to create a GUI-like interface for you in terminal. So it kind of cuts down on some of the issues of all the typing that you have to do in the first place. So you might be like, hey, uh, let's bring up PuTTY and um, let's just try to access this machine real quick. So right now I brought up PuTTY. And in front of you, you're like, okay, I got this. How do I get here? So first you got to figure out what your IP address is. Um, so a good way to do that. There's, there's probably a thousand better ways. One, you can use Plex Guide and it'll just pop up. So I actually can use that method or if config. So let's bring up Plex Guide so you can see it one time. Need to quit making variations of this password. Okay, there we go. So this is a bridged IP address. So I wonder if I can even access it. Normally I normally I assign a dedicated IP address on the network to prevent this issue, but let's see if I can get there. One, I haven't turned SSH on, so this may not even work. So let's learn together. All right. Oh, okay, good. So it is working. Okay. So typically this would not work. Uh, it looks like I've been able to in the past before. Um, usually you'll get a timeout. So let's go over to Wiki. Let's go over to uh, basics. It's not the basics or prep install. Here we go. SSH server access. Uh, able configure SSH. And here we go right here. And, uh, my battle buddy should figure out a great a great way uh, for you to um, access your machine instead of using PuTTY. It's actually using Ubuntu's VM for Windows 10, which is actually pretty ingenious. I, I should have thought about that. <laughs> so, um, unless I got it overwritten, this space. Okay, instead of battling this, I'll, I'll make sure to fix this. So. Enable SSH server access. Oh. Or maybe it's, it'll just take me back to the same page, right? Yeah, enable configure SSH. Sorry, the pictures are, are throwing me off. Make sure configure. Yeah, it looks like the information disappeared. So I'll, I'll make sure to put that. So enable SSH on your Ubuntu server. So if you're getting a timeout, this is one of the first things that you would do and it's some it's like open server so there you go right here so this is what you would type sudo app git install open ssh server i believe plex guide already does this for you and the reason you see nothing happening here is just that um well it's already installed um and then you want to check on the status so sudo service ssh status and there we go it works so 
I, I kind of forget this sometimes. When I make a new virtual machine, I'm like, I can't get into the stupid thing. I completely forget that you have to do this right here. It's a very simple thing to do. So once you got that running, you got again, you got to know what your IP address is. So this is what we got right here. Now, normally in VMware, I, I make a breached IP. So it would be like 192.168.1 and then whatever I give it. So this is, uh, uh, it's not breached. I forget what it is. So it's, um, it's like another network. Can't think right now. Too tired. Okay. So, I believe after five minutes, if you don't do anything, it will time out on you. So, by you're wondering, well, why am I doing this? And again, as I explained earlier, is let's say I'm this is just my laptop, right? I can I can access the machine in my house, so I don't I don't need my laptop to be my 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 Plex Guide server. I can have any tower with some RAM and and some stuff running VMware or running Ubuntu Pure, and I can just log in. Like I said, you log into most servers. Okay. And I should be able to get in just like anything. Should. There we go. So you're like, well, how do, how do I know it's this? Well, we can just do a quick test. So let's go to, um, let's, let's become the regular user. So CD, so LSLA. believe this is yeah okay I was just making sure so I'm gonna go to CD desktop for the home user so I'm gonna do type I'm going to touch cat txt and you see how the file came here so technically in my putty right here I should see the same thing so type CD again I apologize just a little tired CD and you do the squiggly line um, for those who don't know what this is basically this takes you to your home directory um, something I kind of like learned from the beginning because if you're if you're logged in as root or home Sometimes you'll be in different locations outside of your directory Most of the times when you are the user you're kind of pretty much there. So if I type LSLA, I should see that. Yep, CD desktop LSLA and there's cat right there So the great thing is is I can I can be on another computer in my house using um, This right here and, and be able to get in um, What my battle buddy did is she figured out something pretty simple. And I do need to update this page because you can see even I was getting confused. Uh, it was probably a picture before. We've had to do uh, several revisions of this wiki because there was a glitch in the, uh, the wiki software itself. I had to work with the developer. Okay, so what she's doing is she's showing you how to install Ubuntu for Windows 10. So the first step you have to do here is you got to go to your Windows features. So if you don't do this, uh, you'll typically have a lot of problems. Once it's enabled, then you're going to go to the Windows 10 store, as she's showing here, and you're just going to download Ubuntu. Cool, right? Launch. So instead of dealing with PuTTY, so PuTTY's not really the best thing to deal with, but you see right here, I can just type Ubuntu right there. And look what you get. It's kind of like, you know, terminal for Ubuntu. Technically it is. So if I type uh, SSH home at 192.168.1 crap camera address that's again it's not a typical address i have 174 135 where did you go ubuntu you can tell i'm just having one of those days <laughs> ssh home at 192.168.174.135 Yep. So all you have to do is type Ubuntu and, and you get this. And it's actually pretty. You don't have all the issues that you have with Putty. And there you go. So it, it even looks nicer than Terminal's version. The only thing I notice is that when um, the menu kind of rolls forward sometimes, it, it blanks out, you'll, you'll, see if, you'll see a few small issues here and there. But other than that, I'm, I know this is just kind of like a, a quick offbeat video, but again, this is just to give you a little idea about Terminal, um, how you can access it using Ubuntu, like um, it, like I said, how you can use a VM. So the good thing is if you have a, a, a mod, like a junk desktop, once you install Ubuntu on it, you can disconnect the, um, you can remote in or you can disconnect the monitor and just let your computer run and just use, um, just use this to get into your system. Other than that, 
I appreciate your time. And if you see a uh, orange glow, just go ahead and click that, like it, subscribe. Again, it does help us. Um, and my bad before for leaving out of here is if you can click the star right here on our project, it does help promote Plex Guide. Other than that, thank you for your time.